Hey y'all, today we're going to break down a pen battle to 6,000. Start by removing the handle just on the screws. And now we can pull the spool off. And I'll break down the spool. Let's go ahead and get this retaining ring out of here. Keep your finger on it so it doesn't look like And you can pop the drags out. Be sure to hold on to the spring. So it doesn't go shooting around. And for the other end of the spring, you can pop that off. Okay, and now we can go to the body to remove the rotor. So we'll open the side housing up. Now we can just pop this off. And get a look inside. Tons of grease. Okay, so to remove the rotor, we're going to remove and then pull the main shaft out. And just pull it out like so. While we're here, we're gonna remove the components on the spool shaft. So we're gonna remove this bearing that's on top should be a retaining clip on here. Yeah, there it is. So there's a ring on here. We just have to pry that off. Then just pop it off. Then you can pull the bearing out. And remove the thrust washer. That's that for the main shaft. So let's go ahead and get the rotor taken off. By removing the set screw here. Should it come straight up? And it does. Where's my, there it is. This sits inside the pinion gear, so I'm gonna put that back until we get to it. Okay, so now we can break down the rotor. I'm 
loosen all these screws. Maybe we can get to the So we have a line roller, line roller washer. There's a Teflon washer inside it that we're gonna remove. That's just sits on top. The line roller itself and we're pushing here, as well as another Teflon washer under here. And that's the line roller assembly. Both these Teflon washers are the same size. And now we can do the the bail spring portion of it. Hold on to this. Pieces can go flying in here. And all you have is a spring, the arm, and that's pretty much it. All right, so that's it for the rotor and the bail assembly. the main gear and the rest of the components in here. There are two shims on this one on the outside of the main gear. You just pull this straight up like so. And to remove the cross line, I'm gonna pull the cross line block up the screw that should be in here. Oh, no screws on this one, excuse me. No screw in there, just raise it up. And that's it for that, besides the cap and the bearing, which we can certainly pull out now. So all we have left is this upper portion where the angle reverse plug sits. And the pinion. Okay, so there's an e clip on this dog portion here. We're going to remove. Just by popping it off. So, you can pull this off, so you can pull this up. There's a spring in here that you're going to see that sits just inside and underneath. That's what helps, that's what engages the second dog on this. Now you can pull this portion up, remove this trip for the anti-reverse. 
that sleeve there and then we can undo these screws to remove the very upper. Off of the bearing cover and then we can pull the pinion out. And got everything. So we have a bearing on top there, the anti-reverse clutch, the little sleeve I was telling that's on the pinion that sits inside there, and the second bearing. No washers. So that's how you break down a pen battle six thousand. Or a bank is pen battle six thousand. <coughs> Let's start with the rotor and the bill assembly. I'll show you a simple easy way to get the bail spring in there. Get this area kind of greased up a little bit. All right, so I'll take this piece into the spring, just lay it down like that. I'm going to take my trip, take the long end, stick it down through there, like so. <clears throat> then I'm going to cover it. I'm not going to screw this down the entire way, but I'm going to kind of get this started. So almost all the way down. Need a little bit of play in there. Then I'll take the spring, put it at an angle to look for the groove. Found the groove. Keep pressing down on the plate and rest it in like that. Now I can tighten this all the way down. And we can take our bail arm, put it in the hole, just rotate it until you find the slot. For the tension, you know you're good. Then we can lock that down. Set this aside for a sec. Now we'll do our line roller, put the washer on there. The thick part goes in on this so take the thick part facing inwards towards the bail arm now we can add a little bit of grease to this as well put this washer on and just kind of rest it on top I'll take her bail arm and then just add our bail wire Let's see if we can get this around without having to move that it's good <coughs> here like so And that's it. <coughs> Alright, let's run on to the 
Let's do the pinion. Squeeze the pinion up. And we'll just set it aside. Now we can grease inside here where the bearing sits. It's all the way at the bottom there. But I'm going to grease everything inside here. Add a little grease to the point right there where the pinion sits. Now let's put it together. First we'll start with the bearing. Next will be the sleeve here. It's slotted. Now we can do our clutch washer. Or our clutch bearing, excuse me. It looks really good inside there. I'm gonna add just a tad bit of grease, but not a whole bunch. You don't want to over grease these things. The way it sits is this white portion sits down or facing down like that. Now we can take our case here, drop our other bearing in there like so. And that's it for that assembly. Now we can stick our bearing cover on. Uh, one thing you want to note here is there's a flat side here on this bearing cover. You want to line that up with the side of the post. Now let's get these things, the dog, assembled. I'm going to add a little bit of grease on this little groove right here. Because there's a spring that will sit inside there. And that's going to go on like this, but this triangular piece has a notch or band on the top of it, right there. That may not work. You can see that. That's going to sit up. And this will sit just like that. The groove is on the bottom. The rest is facing up. It just sits over like that. And we're going to be in this area right here working with the post. Now we can take our trip over here for the dog. And we're going to get that set inside the top like that. But you want to get the uh, that notch or that bend in the spring to sit through this hole right here. Like that. Next we just put our spring for the dog itself over the post just like that. And then we're going to 
get that in place. What you're looking for is to have that spring sit on the inside of this bar here. Not a light amount of grease on that. And all you have to do next is put the E-clip on. And you'll be done. Stay there. I'm not a fan of Eclipse. Let's pop that off and start the other way. From right there. Okay. Let's get this point over here. That sits in the groove just like that. Let's get our spring back in place. That's is over just like that. And that's your dog set up. Okay. What should we do next? Hmm. Let's do the spool. Where are our drag washers at? Okay, let's go ahead and get these rubber drag washers greased. That should be good. All right, so the way the drag washer sits is first is the this one. I'm sorry, the uh, fiber drag washer. Then we have one keyed washer, and these are all going to be keyed washers in this. And then just keep repeating the process. Now we can put our retaining clip in. Just hold on to it when you do it. fit into the groove that's inside there. Now we'll do our spring. These springs are a little trickier because it, the spool is so deep in this. But we'll get it. Alright, so take one of the ends and you're going to pop it through the spring. like that all right so now we can take our sorry I just want some dirt in there take our washer stick it on like that and we're just gonna rest this onto our spool get this screw in there Find a hole for it. I'm too far away from you guys. And then just screw it in place. Add a little bit of oil right under the screw. Work that in. And now we can take our This end of the spring and just get over the post. Okay. 
Okay. Let's make sure there's a seated down there in the little groove. That's good. Okay, so that's that for the victim. All right, so let's go ahead and grease inside here around this post right here. And then we'll grease the inside where the bearing sits. Uh, put that back on later on. Inside right here. And even though they have these little washers for the screws, I add grease to these posts where the screws sit and where the posts sit. Now we go ahead and get the crossroad block greased up. I was dropping down with let's get the bearing in for a screw. Let's get our bearing and drop that in. Cross my gear on like that. They were cross my block and just rested on there. It's gonna sit just like this. And now we can put our I don't know what you call that. I'm gonna call it a crosswind protector. locked in place. Push this down a little bit. And now we can do our main gear. So now let's put this back, this piece back on and we'll get the rotor on top. For the rotor, I will add a little bit of grease here. Get that rested on top. Remember, this is uh, slotted, so or keyed, so you have to find the groove for it. Which I think we did, but I guess we didn't. Hold on to the pinion. Let's pull this thing out. Put it back in after we put the uh, the rotor on top.
see if that helps it. Now let's take this thing back inside here. And now we can get our nut and washer. It's got a little grease on this thing. Put the washer in place. Now we can screw this down. Let's push this up slightly. Now when you put these screws in, you want to have the uh, screw going in with the flat side of the nut facing it, not on the edges. Okay, so now we can get our spool in, we'll go ahead and put that together. I'll grease where the the crossbar block sits on it. Get the thrust washer on there. Get the bearing on. Then just get our clip back on there. It'll be a lot easier getting it on than off. Just keep working it down over these notches. Get all the way down to that slot right there just above the bearing. That's where it'll sit. And I'll just lock in place. Now it won't come up. Add a little bit of oil to this shaft right here. Then just get that down straight through the hole. And find. I'm listening for the sound, sorry. and find the cross one block. The way it'll sit is the flat surface will be facing up, the curved edge will be facing down. Let's pull that back out and then get the gear in there. All right, about the gear in place like that. Get the through. Now we're going to find the slot for it. Sorry about that, the battery died. Grease the back of this. We 
can grease the inside where the bearing's going to sit on this cover. Just drop the bearing in place like that. Get our shims put back onto the. One, two, three. Yeah. Get our shims put back onto the main gear. And then we can certainly put our cover on. Now all we have left to do is lock it up. Again, don't forget these little washers that come with the screws. Now we can put our cap on. There's no slots or anything for this to fit in, it just fits over it. And we can get our handle. I'll add a little bit of grease inside here. And in there. Add some oil to right here. Let it work its way down inside the handle. Get this screwed on. Get our spool on top. cover and that's how you put together a pan battle 6000 all right thanks for watching